Hey guys, what is up? Schlappy here, playing some more Creative Us on the Production United Creative Us server. And, um, trying to do some lag busting again. I've gotten it significantly better. I'm getting consistently 30 frames. Um, 60 if I go away from spawn. And somebody said it was because of all the glass at spawn. Now this, I believe, is mostly diamond glass but i get fine frames looking at that so it's something over here i'm thinking it might be all the lights just as i say i was getting good frames it uh, it does that um, i'm thinking it might be all the lights right i don't know maybe it's just all the blocks there's a lot of teleporters and lights and just just blocks and there's a, a farm with all kinds of creatures you know what whatever We'll figure it out uh, another day, but um, yeah, spawn pretty laggy. As soon as we get over here, though, it gets to be okay. Oh, boy. Here we go. All right. Let's continue our journey um, through. Let's continue our journey through this part of the world. It's having a little trouble loading the world. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's my internet. Maybe it's the server being in Europe. Whatever, I'm struggling to get through it. Oh my gosh, I just want to get over here. You guys had a lot of uh, good suggestions. Sunday's video, I did a bit of a different thing where we were talking about the game. But we're back to building now. We're back to building. Um, a lot of you guys, uh, a couple people said they like uh, the beams going all the way up. Which, um, yeah, they said it made it look um, kind of larger and overbearing. Which I agree with, I think it does. So we'll leave those. Um, I think I do like this thing on the side, so I might actually continue that up. And then uh, people were mentioning put leaves, put vines, make it look overgrown. That is on my list of things to do with it. So anyway, I'm just going to put uh, a little bit of effort, some leaves, some vines, that sort of stuff. We're going to put that here and uh, see what we can get it to look like. Well, that is... Uh, does look better. We got some vines. We got some leavage. It's not perfect. I think it's one of those things that I'll tweak um, as I go. You know, I, I do that a lot. And, um, you know, I think that's good. You know, just tweak it as you go. You're like, some days you see something you like it. Some days you don't. But I definitely think it looks a lot better. I'll get the windows up. I put um, another ring of stone in a block behind that top one. I felt the window was just way too big. And that kind of gives it some depth. It's kind of cool. I like it. I like it. So um, let's just take a little tour of the house. Um, somebody said make this a reading room with all kinds of chairs. Uh, definitely an option. I was hoping to do something a touch different, um, but we're not going to look at that today. We also kind of have a reading room in here. We put all the bookshelves. Uh, See, so we got our dining room. We got our kitchen, which is my favorite room of the house, except now that it's got this silly carpet coming into it. Um, but whatever, whatever, um, this four wide staircase, I still have it here, I've been, uh, I've been debating about it, um, a lovely little reading room, what a lovely little reading room, um, alright, this is the only place I think I use this wood for the window, just to block it out, whatever, today we're gonna be focusing on this area down here, um, I haven't dug any of it out yet, uh, but, you know what? we are going to <laughs> um so yeah this is going to be the basement which is going to be like a maze we're going to make it sort of an interactive puzzle maze so we're going to use some of the uh electronic mechanics you know this guy all those machinery we're going to use uh, some of those to make it sort of a, a puzzle game that's also kind of a maze and uh possibly some sort of uh, challenges within the puzzle maze you know with like fighting enemies or something I think it's going to be fun. Um, I'm not sure how big it's going to be. I'm not sure how much time we're going to invest into it. I'm just sort of going to get going. No real plans. We're just going to get going and uh, see what happens. So first things first, we need a bunch of doors. Um, take the red lights, I guess. What do we want to make the floor out of? Uh, that's a good question. That is a great question. Um... I think dirt would be really good, but we can't really just have dirt because grass will grow. So, there's that. Um, okay, I'm going to lower this down. It's going to come down 
a touch further, probably to... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's so dark. Uh, somebody, somebody move out of my inventory. It's going to come down to this level here. Let's just clear out a slight area. It's going to come down to this level here. Uh, so let's say we just need one more stair. Okay, uh, got a little room in. We're going to have a door on either side. Pretty basic. Um, nothing too crazy down here. Uh, door on either side. We'll put the lights like this, probably. Um, oh, I'll do up the roof and stuff next. Uh, my next thing was the floor. I kind of want to use like a stone floor. Um, here's some options. I think this one's out. It's too, too busy. Uh, these two, I think I might roll with this stone block wall. It's kind of a cool texture. So let's uh, just see kind of what it looks like with a uh, touch more. Yeah, we'll try it. Um, so let me kind of finish up the floor in this room. We'll look at it. Might be all right. All right, let's get the full vibe of walking down into this. Oh yeah. Creepy, I wanted it to be kind of short. Um, so the whole thing's probably gonna be like three tall. That's like maybe there's some special rooms or something that are bigger, but uh, the whole thing we kind of want to be three tall. So let's uh, let's get this started. What I want to do first is get a switch. I don't have any magnetite. Okay, uh, let's go grab that. Basically, there's going to be two ways to enter. Um, well, no, no, there's not. Do I have switches? I sw could have sworn I brought some. Ah. All right, so I started from the back. This is actually going to be the exit of the place. So you come in here, flip the switch, and you'll finally be able to exit the basement. So we're going to enter this side. Uh, so basically what this is going to be is uh, we're going to make this so you can't interact with it. The only way you can open it is from the inside. So once you're in, you're kind of stuck. So that's, uh, I just want to get this sort of done. So that's going to be the exit. Um, so let's get started on... This side, there's the blocks right here, aren't there? Let me clear out and then we'll get started. All right, so let's talk about this place a touch. So um, I've cleared out a decent area. We're gonna have this be sort of the first um, thing that you do. It's just gonna be a straight up maze, just trying to figure out your way. It's not huge, it shouldn't be all that difficult. We're just gonna have straight maze though. We're gonna use this pink wall, mostly because I have a lot of it and it, uh, it suits, you know? Suits the theme, I have enough of it. But basically, um, the way I wanna do this place is to have sort of every room in the basement, every part have its own sort of, its own sort of puzzle and its own sort of um, look. I don't want them all to be the same room. You know, upstairs, it all kinda went together. It's a house down here. I wanna experiment with some different blocks, some different game mechanics. The other thing is, um, you know, partly because the server might be a touch slow, partly because I'm on a bad computer, which uh, I'm going to hopefully upgrade soon, but uh, gosh, it is expensive to buy a computer. Um, but anyway, that's beside the point. Um, basically, I don't want to use too many heavy on the server type things, so not every puzzle is going to be sort of mechanical is I guess where I'm, I'm going with that. So our first one is just gonna be a maze and uh, then it'll lead to another room which has a different puzzle and uh, so on and so forth. There's a few different things I have in mind. And uh, yeah, so um, I guess we can take that. Let's, uh, let's, let's build this. So uh, I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is actually lay out a path with, uh, we're gonna do just a simple floor like this. So what I'm gonna do is just lay out a path and then it'll just be a matter of throwing on the walls after. So, you know, if I do something like this, um, you know what I mean? It'll be really easy because you just have to put walls on it and uh, that'll be that. So uh, let me just sort of, is he just like awkwardly dancing to the side? He can't walk forward. Yeah, let me just uh, get in the floor. We'll put up some walls. Very simple build. I'm thinking I'm going to go with the red lights in here as opposed to this. But uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. All right, maze floor is in. Now just to fill in all the grass with uh, with walls and we have ourselves 
uh, a maze. Uh, what happened here? I just didn't put in the floor, I guess. Uh, so yeah, we just got to put in the walls and we have ourselves our first room, which is uh, just a simple maze. So let's just... Um, yeah, so it'll be probably this height, right? Yeah, and then... Uh, yeah, pretty easy, pretty simple. That'll be the first room. Start off easy, you know? And then I'm guessing... When you go through here, we're probably going to have a ladder down. We're kind of running out of room underneath the house, so we'll probably have a ladder down at some point. I'm expecting there to be actually quite a few rooms. I'm thinking like seven, eight obstacles to get through, so sort of seven, eight rooms of uh, varying size and difficulty. Seven, eight rooms uh, before you end up in this one is uh, sort of my plan. It might take a little bit, though. So maybe we'll kind of like do a room and then go to a different project or something. I'm not really sure. For now, I'm just going to build this maze, and then we'll, we'll see what happens. Well, you can see it. It's, we're using the red lights. Um, also, I put it too tall. Too tall because um, it's creepier. It's it's real kind of... with uh, Also, with it three tall, um, it, it you know, it's fine. It's just not as cool. I like the too tall. It's very tight. It's very claustrophobic. It's very, um, you know, just not pleasant, really. It's just, you know just not pleasant. Um, it also kind of hides the fact that I had to use a lot of the wall textures that I don't particularly like. Um, you know what I mean? Like the, the cracks and stuff. So I'm a, I'm a big fan of it. I'm a big fan of it. I'm going to finish it up and then we'll, uh, we'll, we'll walk through it. All right, let's take a look at our first little maze. It's creepy. It's creepy. It's creepy, creepy. Um, hopefully there's not a whole bunch of guys inside of it at all times. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, this snow. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, it's, okay, it's this one. Um, yeah, it's pretty easy. It's not like a huge. I didn't really have that much room to uh, to build it, obviously, but um, I like it. I like it a lot. So over here, we're gonna have sort of another room where I'm thinking I want to make a number game. So we don't have a huge amount of room. Um, so these are where the house ends. These cobblestone things are where the house ends. So I'm thinking here what we're going to do is have some sort of like math problem. Not Yeah, I guess you can call it a math problem. It's going to be numbers and you're going to have to enter an answer using a numpad. And um, that's going to open the next door. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, that's an easy explanation. So yeah, we're gonna have uh, some sort of number equation. We're gonna have some sort of problem and you're gonna enter an answer. It's gonna be like the easiest thing ever to uh, for, for me to do. Oh my goodness, how bad am I at explaining this? Yeah, it's gonna be a math problem. You enter it in a numpad and you know an answer comes up. It's not rocket science and it's gonna be super easy for me to do, which is great. Also, we don't have much room over here, so that's perfect. So then we'll probably have a door going this direction, um, which we do have quite a bit of room. So if we take a look, still on this level, we have all the way over to that cobblestone. That's our exit there. So we could do something pretty sizable um, before we have to go down. If Yeah, before we have to go down, we still have quite a bit of room up here. Um, or we could go down here and, you know, come back up here at some point. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah. So, uh, let me quickly design this room, and uh, we'll see what we come up with. Okay, um, so I decided to put a yellow light in here, which I think gives it kind of a cool vibe. Um, I used the elder wood. So that's the door we're going to go out of. That's where we come from the maze. Here's our number pad. Here we're going to put our question, um, whatever it ends up being. Uh, here's where we're going to put that. Probably use signs. Um, they're not the best thing, but we'll probably use signs. Uh, I'm just trying to figure out what other wall material I want here. I don't want to use elder wood the entire thing. So I'm kind of like, what other material? You know what we're going to try? Because... Why not? Because why not? Ooh, that looks good. That's a nice contrast between these two. 
Ooh, I actually really like that. I'm gonna try that. Uh, ceiling, I don't know, no more bedrock. Although more bedrock could make it a real like kind of prisony stone vibe, you know? So I'm gonna fill in the walls. Let's just see how that looks. How cool does this room look? Oh yeah. Oh, that is, that is sleek. So this is what you're gonna walk into, this uh, bedrock box. With the yellow light, uh, we might put that in the ceiling though. Let's go here, straight up. <clears throat> yeah, that works pretty well in the ceiling as well. Okay, uh, so now I just need to think of a math problem. Think of a math problem. I'd like it to be sort of themed. Maybe some sort of creepy math problem? Hmm. Or trivia. It could be a trivia question. Interesting. You know, I just wasn't in the mood to uh, figure this out right now. I think, you know, one night I'm gonna sit down, figure out some sort of fun question. I don't feel like doing that right now. I'm in a groove. This is gonna be the next room. It's gonna be five wide walls right here. And this room is gonna be um, another kind of machinery puzzle. We're gonna have like 10 switches and um, we're gonna connect some sort of like vault door with a, it's gonna have another sort of uh, hint, some sort of cryptic question that uh, if you toggle the switches in the right way, the door will open. Now, the one thing that I'm thinking about doing is having multiple doors so that if you screw up, it, like a door opens and like a monster comes in and attacks you which i think would be kind of cool except i don't think like you can't have tamed creatures that attack people and i think they'll despawn if they're not tamed right so i'm kind of like stuck where i'm like uh i don't think that's gonna work so uh any ideas would be would be swell but uh, i think i'm gonna get a room up the one light we haven't used that is the blue light. We have yellow in here, we had red in there. We haven't used the blue one. So maybe blue would be kind of neat. And I'm thinking we're gonna go back to our old school fave and use some limestone. You know, get that white in there. Just I want every room to be just radically different, I think is uh, it's gonna be kind of fun. So let's get some limestone and uh, see what we can do. Okay, so um, I went with the blue lights. We're using a mix of adobe wall and limestone, and uh, it had an unintended effect. Unintended effect. I really like it. Check this out. Oh man, isn't that cool? The blue and the white. It. I love. I love it. I love it so much. Um. Yeah. It's something. Yeah, I think it's gonna. It kind of adds an extra layer of like difficulty actually, because I think it's gonna be actually kind of hard to see. <laughs> so. Um, you know what? Extra, extra difficulty, but I think it's really cool. I'm going to put a white roof on it as well. We're going to use the Adobe probably, just it's an easy white block. Um, we're going to use the Adobe and just put like a white roof so it's just like reflective. Um, I went with the wood floor. I, I actually had Adobe in the floor first and I thought it was just way too much. Um, at the same time, it I didn't try with the blue lights. Uh, maybe with the blue lights, I think you, this room would look very like sterile. I think is like kind of the vibe I'm getting, just like very like sterile, like creepy hospital vibes, which is cool. Maybe we'll change it up. I gotta make more Adobe anyway, so maybe we'll change it up. But um, I'm gonna put in the roof and sort of see the vibe of it, and then uh, maybe we'll maybe we'll change the floor, maybe not. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna have I think two doors here. Mm. Ooh, <laughs> it took a second for them to go blue, but probably something like that, and then just switches across the wall, and probably like a sign with a cryptic hint, and uh, you guys can figure it out. Uh, we could make it so one of the doors, like, either way, I think we're going to go down a ladder. We could make one of them just a dead end, so you actually go through, you go down a little hallway, and then there's just nothing there, and you have to come back up and figure it out again. That could be kind of cool. Just like waste your time. Um, so yeah. Hmm, OK, 
okay. I don't really like want to like diverge paths. Like I don't want to make like one go an easy way, one go a hard way. Just because that way, you know, then I have to like design two different things. And it, it just like, I, I want this to be kind of one continued experience. Think like Halo, you know, very tunnel vision, but still a good time, I hope. So, yeah. But there's not really much you can do in this game as like a bad consequence, you know what I mean? You can't like make a piston floor disappear or anything like that. So I don't know. I don't know, man. Okay. And here we are. Um, finished room. It's uh, it's creepy. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm a big fan of these colored LED lights for like specialty builds, but not particularly just in general. Anyway, I'm a, I'm a big fan of this room. I'm excited. Um, that's about it. All I have time for today. We actually got a lot done. I, well, I wasn't planning on doing like four rooms today, but we got this done. We got the maze done. We got um, some stuff laid out. Obviously, I got to come up with the puzzles and whatnot. I wasn't planning on doing that today, though. Um, I was actually more planning on like laying this out, but um, you know what? Now, we, <laughs> now we've got a lot of it uh, kind of laid out, uh, which is cool. We have three rooms. I kind of want seven or eight. Uh, I think once we go down a level, they're going to be a bit bigger. They're going to be a bit bigger. These ones are kind of small, but they're going to be a bit bigger. We got our exit done. I think it's coming together. I'm uh, curious to see what you guys think. Um, if you like it, let me know. Comment what you guys think. If you have any puzzles or you have any ideas for like, now that you know we're kind of doing these smaller rooms that are kind of these individual things, I'd love to hear if you guys have any suggestions for what we can do. Um, so right now we have sort of a, a math numpad one. We're going to have sort of a switch uh, it's going to be a lot of like comparison gates and, you know, if the switches are all in the right order, it works. And we have a maze. I'm curious if you guys have any other puzzles that are good for this area. Let me know. Um, or any other block combinations that kind of give a creepy vibe. So far, we've got kind of Adobe wall and blue lights. We have the bedrock with the yellow light, which I think is really cool. So any other creepy block combinations I'd love to hear or puzzles. Because, uh, you know, the comments are a good place um, when I'm out of ideas. <laughs> uh... Also, what you guys think of the front of this place, which is another thing we did. Um, I think it's cool. The kind of overgrown vibe. I think it's, uh, I think it's working really well. We still got to terraform and do a bit around the entrance. Also, these elderwood trees grew. I don't know if you guys noticed those. Uh, they're kind of a cool effect. I kind of want another one to be like up here or something. But yeah. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe for more Creativeverse. So we're going to be finishing the basement probably in the next two, three episodes. I'm excited for it. And then, uh, you know, we, we got a little bit more work to do in this place, but it's, uh, it's getting near completion, which is kind of cool. Uh, oh, drop down to zero frames. What's up? Anyway, yeah. So thanks for watching. Catch you guys later. Ciao.